Welcome to another RMS support tutorial. This video will cover document packages in both contractor mode and government mode. Now let's get started. Document packages are used throughout RMS 3 to facilitate the inclusion of supporting documents. Document packages are typically created after completion of the data entry of a record. This system will create a new package and add a PDF copy of the form for the contractor to sign and submit to the government. While there is no limit to the number of attachments in a package, the maximum file size for any one attachment is 250 megabytes. There is no limit to the number of document packages that can be associated with an action. Once generated, document packages have their dates set and can no longer be edited. There can be multiple packages per item and multiple files within each package. There are two different types of document packages in RMS one that is visible in both contractor and government modes, as well as one that is visible only to the government. To determine which document package to use, if it needs to be viewed by a contractor, choose the contractor or shared document package as labeled in RMS. We will now demonstrate document package examples in both modes accordingly. In contractor mode, we have an RFI or request for information document opened. Selecting one of the buttons on the left allows you to add, edit, or delete a document package. Choosing Add or Edit will open the Document Package Edit view. Let's select the Add option. There are many types of files that can be attached. The blue tiles identify the types of files that can be attached to a document package. You may click on a tile to view the list of files of that file type to have been included in the document package. You may add documents to the document package by either dragging and dropping the file into the drag and drop tile, or by selecting the add button and choosing a file from your file system. Once selected, double click or click open. Let's go ahead and delete the first document that we imported by selecting it and clicking the delete button. To save attached documents outside of RMS3, click on the Export Selected Documents button. Then select the applicable documents from the list that is shown, and click OK. Now choose a location you wish to save, and click OK. Now we can see the document with all the RMS added information in the title. In Government mode, the Create a Letter option is available in RMS. You may generate a letter using one of the Word templates stored in the district library under Word Templates. Select any of the options by expanding the arrows and clicking OK. RMS3 automatically assigns the date in which the document is added to the document package. The Edit Document feature is only available on unsigned documents. Once a document is electronically signed in RMS3, the document is no longer editable. Editable document types in the document package are Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Text, and CSV. Select the View Document button to open the document in read-only view mode. Under the document title, RMS3 automatically names the document with the package and file name. However, this field is editable. If you do edit this field, it is best practice to leave the title prefix so the file is easier to identify in both the contract file module in RMS as well as PCF. Click inside of the box to change the title or document if you wish. The description box allows you to add any description in the box below. The checkboxes for manual signatures are used to indicate if the contractor or government signed the document outside of RMS. For example, if the government signed the document themselves in Adobe, then uploaded the document in the document package, then these options should be selected after uploading the manual signature document. Let's switch back to contractor mode. Attached Word and PDF documents can be electronically signed in RMS3. Word documents that are electronically signed in RMS3 will be automatically converted to PDF documents. To electronically sign, Click on the document, then click Sign Selected Documents button at the top. Place a check in the box of all the documents to be electronically signed in RMS3. Then click on the Next button. This action needs to be performed by the person whose signature will be added to the document. Once initiated, there is no means to change the signature name or select a name other than that of the logged in user. Once the document is signed, there is no way to remove the signature from the document. The document must be deleted and the signature process must be started over. If the signature requires a title, enter it in the box provided. The Select Signature Title button is not available in contractor mode. However, contractors can still enter their name and title in the box. 
For government users, click on the button to select one of the signature blocks associated with a logged in user. Signature blocks are defined in the RMS staff module. If there are no signature blocks associated in the staff table, the RMS staff table will need to be updated. Checking the Use Signature Title for Future Signatures option will set the default signature title for this user on all future document packages signing features. This default can be changed or removed at any time. RMS will automatically set the digital signature position of the logged in user at the correct position for RMS generated reports such as the 4025, ENG93, and QAQC daily reports. For other documents, the default digital signature position is set to last page bottom right unless other positions are selected. To select an alternate position, double click on the signature box, then click the ellipses button. Select the desired position, then click the OK button at the bottom. An RMS district administrator can add custom signature locations if a signature location does not exist for the document that is being signed. Click on finish to complete the process. This will bring up a confirmation box that requires the logged in user to confirm the user's identity by entering the logged in user's PIN or RMS password, depending on the method used to log into RMS. After all documents have been added and signed, if required, the last step for the document packages that is not associated with the 4025 in the transmittal log is to click the Submit for Review button. If submitting a document package without any signed documents, RMS will notify you that no documents were signed and prompt you to cancel. In government mode, after all document packages have been reviewed, approved, signed, and notes have been added, the last step for the document package is to click the accept button. This button will start the process of sending documents to PCF if the contract is set up to use PCF. Note that it is crucial that the document packages are sent to PCF by completing the document package and not by sending them via the contract file module. Only send documents to PCF from the contract file that were not added via the document package. If the documents are not correct, missing, or do not meet the requirements, check with your district's policy to determine if you should return the package to the contractor or request the contractor to submit a new document package. If district or office policy allows, click on the button to return for corrections if you want the contractor to edit this document package. Since we have forgotten to add a description to our document, let's return it for corrections. For document packages returned for corrections, Check with your government representative before deleting any documents from the document package. Make any requested changes or additions. Once completed, resubmit the package to the government for review. On the government side, as we refresh our screen, We can see the description has been added. Now we may accept this document and it is now ready to send to PCF indicated by the status. In this video we covered what a document package is and what types of files can be added to them. We also covered how to work with the document package including how to add, edit, delete, export, and sign documents. As a reminder, it is crucial that the documents are sent to PCF by completing a document package and not by sending them via the contract file module. Only send documents to PCF from the contract file that were not added via the document package. Check with your district's policy to determine if you should return the package to the contractor or request the contractor to submit a new document package. If you experience any technical difficulties while attempting any of these steps, please contact the RMS Support Help Desk by submitting a support ticket or by calling the Help Desk phone. Links to our contact information will be provided in the description box of this video. We hope you found this video informative and thank you for watching.